DirectOut launches Xbox Rug. The new device will be coming in the Xbox format and it will be a compact and affordable solution to convert MADI into Ravenna, AS67 and SIMTST 2110, including NMOS support. The CTO Claudio Becker Foss talks about the new ways to control direct out devices using Ember Plus and MMOS, which open new doors to interface direct out gears with products from other manufacturers. Dante SRCIO and Rav SRCIO, a new set of modules for the Prodigy series, will allow sample rate conversion at the highest quality for the network audio formats supported by the series. After the release of DirectOut's white paper last June, the first real-life Lockdown Rock projects involving Prodigy MP and Ravayo have successfully come to life. A blast of new developments, features, projects, documents and announcements. The DirectOut summer has brought with it a wave of very interesting news. Welcome everyone to the latest news from DirectOut Technologies, brought you by the fact that COVID-19 cancelled every single exhibition up until at least the end of this year. During this month of summer season here in Europe, DirectOut has decided to do not take time off and to keep pushing on new developments and new features for its products. Today, we will take a look at some of them, but much more is already in the pipeline. When Ravenna made its appearance in the Pro Audio world 10 years ago, DirectOut was one of the companies who believed and embraced this audio over IP approach. After releasing Montone 42 a few years ago and supporting step-by-step -step all the new features and standards that arose during time, such as AS67 and SIMTST 2110, the company has now decided to go smaller and shrink its Ravenna technology down to the Xbox format. Jan Herlich, CEO at DirectOut, illustrates the new Xbox Rav. Thank you, Lorenzo. Here I am at DirectOut's headquarters, and here in my hand is a little prototype of the new Xbox Rav, which will be available for sales within a few weeks only. Coming from the successful experience of Xbox MD, our Mardi to Dunde converter, and being able to shrink down the size of our Ravenna implementation into the format of the new RAV2 module, we thought it would be a good idea to combine two things and create a compact and budget-friendly Ravenna-enabled audio over IP solution. Xbox RAV is the perfect solution for portable conversion of MADI baseband format to wide area network infrastructures. The device hosts four gigabit ethernet ports with an internal switch and power over ethernet, plus three MADI ports, which supports BNC coax, SC optical and SFP format. But it not only allows 64 channel conversion between MADI and Ravenna, but also works as a channel-by-channel -channel router, a MADI format converter, and as an automatic redundancy switch for audio over IP systems. Talking about EARS, which stands for Enhanced Automatic Redundancy Switching, EARS is a property technology of direct out and allows seamless switch over between two audio sources in case of failure of the main signal even if the signal frame is still valid, but the audio inside is corrupted. By the way, since this little box has been designed for broadcast environments, stream redundancy is also granted by support of ST2022-7. Since the audio over IP stack inside the Xbox RAV is based on Ravenna, it complies as well as both AS67 and SIMT ST2110-30 and Dash 31. Talking about Dash 31, the transparent meter data transport via IP had been tested and approved in connection with other manufacturers, such as Riedel or Dolby. Our Ravenna stack had actually been the reference audio technology for the JDNM tested program, 
a huge certification program designed by the Joint Task Force on Network Media. But let's go back to the Xbox RAF and its control and management capabilities. As standard control interface, we offer a web browser based GUI, as you can see here. At the same time, Globecon software for PC and Mac is also included, both included in the standard package at no extra cost. For seamless integration in broadcast environments, especially IP, Enmos ISO 4 and ISO 5 support has already been implemented, while ISO 8 will be coming soon. With fast SRCs on the audio over IP side, two different clock domains can be connected and work together without glitches or digital distortion. All of this in a very tiny space of one third of a rec unit. Jan Ehrlich, Direct Out News mit weiter. Thank you, Jan. Enmos has also been added to Direct Out's RAV2 board. But it is not the only new control feature which is now supported by DirectOut products. The R&D team of DirectOut has also added Ember Plus to the list of third-party control protocols for the Prodigy series. Anna Becker-Foss interviews the CTO of DirectOut, Claudio Becker-Foss, who will tell us more about the two protocols and how they've been implemented. Thank you, Lorenzo, and welcome, Claudio. Hi. So, Claudio, the headline of our interview reads, control is key. That sounds pretty fundamental. Can you tell us a little bit of what that is really about? Sure. Remote control has always been desirable when managing a larger system. Mm -hmm. Devices in different locations, machine rooms. So you want to control that from a central position, of course, remotely. In traditional setups, um, also the signal routing was uh, in a central position, like a, a router where all the signals came in and all you had to do is to control that single router to set up your signal path, mm -hmm. just set a cross point between um, inputs and outputs and then uh, it's done. In network-based systems, this has changed because all the devices can connect directly to each other through the network, but this also adds a lot of other requirements for the management. You have device discovery, stream configuration, connection management, all this comes into play now and needs to be handled. And I think it makes sense to have um, a good way to, to approach this and um, to handle all this. So the, the control, keeping the control over your system uh, is, is crucial. Mm -hmm. uh, when you think of a software um, that handles all this, the um, implementing a proprietary protocol for each single device and each manufacturer uh, is of course quite costly and, and cumbersome. Yeah. So the requirement and the request came up immediately to have a standardized way to control devices, preferably an open standard. Mm -hmm. uh, so no proprietary solutions. And yeah, Enmos and Ember Plus are just two examples of, of those open standards that were developed since. Hmm. So what does Direct Out do to support its customers in this new development? Well, when we designed our recent products, mm -hmm. um, we already had in mind that they should support third-party protocols. Oh, okay. And uh, one first step, of course, is to have a network connection for the management, uh, but also the resources inside of the device to run third-party protocols natively. Um, without any other software involved. And uh, you can just just uh, connect the device to uh, a software or a controller that talks this uh, protocol. Mm -hmm. We added Enmos to our Ravenna implementation um, and Ember Plus we, uh, will be added to the Prodigy series. Hmm. Those are quite exciting news. Um, what are the real benefits um, for your clients of using those features? Yeah, well, it, um, it is exciting. Uh, the um, Enmos is, of course, uh, used for the stream connection management and stream discovery. And um, we, we added it to our Ravenna implementation, which just makes sense. And uh, this eases up the integration into larger systems, into um, existing uh, broadcast facilities, um, uh, being attached to orchestration software, 
uh, where the development of a control plugin for our devices um, drastically uh, is, is made easier by, by adding NMOS because they can just use their NMOS library as it is available already. Mm -hmm. Also, the support of NMOS is growing um, in the broadcast world, so it just makes sense for us to, to add this. Ember Plus, on the other hand, is uh, there to control the device itself. In case of the prodigies, um, it gives you access to the gains, to uh, routing metrics, uh, settings. You can pull the device status. And uh, this can be done with softwares like HI or VSM, mm -hmm. but uh, you can also uh, use a mixing desk, for instance, that oh. uh, talks Ember Plus natively. And this has the nice option to directly control a Prodigy preamp from your mixing desk with the hardware that is available. Mm -hmm. So how would I get my hands on those features? That's uh, very easy. Uh, you can update your Raphael with a firmware update. Mm -hmm. uh, Xbox Raph will have Enmos on board natively, oh, so it will okay. be shipped with that option directly. And Ember Plus will be available as a paid option, also as a firmware update for the Prodigy series very soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your time, Claudio. You're welcome. This is Hannah Becker Foss, Direct Out News. Amen. Thank you, Hannah, and thank you, Claudio, for the insights. It is a never ending evolution for the Prodigy series. Direct Out is also announcing the arrival of new modules for the modular audio converter and processor. Dante SRCIO and Rav SRCIO. The two new audio network modules support Dante and Ravenna formats, as they did in the ones already available in the portfolio. But they mount a specific FPGA chip to provide very high quality SRC functions to the device. Benno Zonder, support and application engineer at DirectOut, tells us more about these two new modules. Hi Lorenzo, you're right. DirectOut is already offering for its Prodigy series dedicated audio network option cards, which support formats such as Dante and Ravenna, AS67 or ST2110. We are now introducing new modules supporting the same audio protocols with the add-on of extremely powerful and high-quality sample rate converters. Both products of the successful Prodigy series, the Prodigy MC and the Prodigy MP, are already offering fast SRC capabilities. This feature had been integrated for flawless and flexible use of both devices connected to complex setups with different sample rates or uncertain sync conditions. Designed for integration in often changing setups, such as live applications, the fast SRC is operating at very low latency. With extensional use of audio over IP infrastructures in broadcast, this industry is currently facing a very exciting evolution with new possibilities in routing and sharing of content, live streaming and remote production. At the same time, the usage of IP technologies is complex and challenging and requires skilled people and powerful, flexible and reliable hardware and software solutions. With Dante SRC IO and Ravenna SRC IO, DirectOut is taking these sophisticated requirements into account, presenting an extremely powerful and highly capable solution to integrate asynchronous audio over IP networks. The option cards are equipped with FPGA-based SRCs, which enable the audio network cards to work autonomously from one another or the mainframe of the Prodigy. As an example, Prodigy MP can host up to two audio network cards. The possibility of adding them with this built-in SRC option allows to connect two completely different and asynchronous Dante and Ravenna or ST2110 networks simultaneously. Benno Sonder, Direct Out News, Munich. Well done, Benno. Last June, the company has released a white paper talking about audio over IP over WAN with Direct Out equipment, in particular Prodigy MP with its Ravenna module. The white paper defines different quality levels of connections and setups 
which allow different level of professionalism in these remote production approaches. Since then, quite a few projects have started taking place around the globe, supported by direct out gears and expertise. Luca Giaroli reports from a studio in Milan, Italy, which has established a connection with Rick Camp's studio in Las Vegas, USA. Thanks, Lorenzo. We are in Milan at the Vivivaldi headquarters. From here, a few days ago, we did a very interesting long-distance transmission test connecting Milan and Las Vegas with Ravenna streams using standard internet connections. Rick Kemp from Master Mix Live Studio in Las Vegas recently adopted a Prodigy MP as a multi-function processor to tune and control his multi-brand speaker system as format converter and main audio metrics. Thanks to our Lockdown Rock webinars, we realized it would have been possible to receive real-time audio from anywhere in the world via standard internet connection, just adding a RAVIO module to his MP and few other accessories. So he asked us to set up this test. Let's have a look at how that worked. This is my Prodigy MP with the custom VPN switch uh, connected to it in my studio in Las Vegas, Nevada. I have Maddie, Ravenna, Dante, 32 channels of mic preamps and IO, and the backside of the custom VPN switch. I was using JLo, which I recorded and mixed uh, live in Lisbon uh, back in 2012. We used that for a demonstration track. This is my Prodigy MP home screen showing 48 tracks of audio coming live from Milan, Italy, with less than one second of delay time. This is the routing page of uh, Ravenna coming from Italy and being routed out Maddie to my Pro Tools rig. I have Pro Tools HD IO and 192 IOs for analog in and out. And I have an SSL Maddie converter for my Maddie streams in and out of Pro Tools. This is the DSP section of my Prodigy MP that is all custom for my two sets of 714 speakers and other inputs and outputs. I have uh, 64 channels of Maddie coming in to the Prodigy MP. I have uh, 64 channels of Dante in and out going out to my Dolby renderer via the Prodigy MP, and I have analog out to my uh, two sets of 714 speakers. Another very important piece to this puzzle is my Sonifex GPS word clock. It is locked to 11 different satellites. That's what keeps all of those tracks in time. When I'm uh, mixing in Dolby Atmos, I go out of Pro Tools Matty into the Prodigy MP, out of the Prodigy MP, on Dante into my Adobe uh, Mastering Suite renderer and back from the renderer back on Dante back into the Prodigy MP and from the Prodigy MP it goes analog out to my speaker system. I am Genelec in 5.1. I am K Ray Caymans in 714 and I'll give you a shot of the ceiling speakers. And I also have a big green screen stage behind there. And the name of my studio is Master Mix Live, as you can see on the banner. What we are doing now is to transmit from Milan 48 tracks of real-time uncompressed audio, 48 kilohertz, 24 bits, using the Ravenna protocol. Thanks to Vivaldi, which is an Italian company providing you VPN solution based on hardware router. We are connecting through a standard internet connection, Rick Camp Las Vegas Studio, with a studio in Milan. In Milan, we are playing back 48 tracks, and we are getting those streams in Vegas perfectly using the maximum amount of buffer, 32,768 samples, just because we wanted to avoid as much as we can packet loss. But the average time that Vegas is receiving the stream is something like 5,000 samples. So it's nothing. Especially knowing that we are crossing 32 different switches between Milan and Vegas. 
Can I send this back to you in, in stereo? Oh yeah, of course. You are already sending us eight channels back, which are the first eight Ravenna channels. That's fantastic. So thank you very much, Rick. Thank you. Luca Giaroli, Direct Out News, Milan. Thanks, Luca, and thanks, Rick, for the report. We have a last-minute news. Prodigy MP and Prodigy MC have been the core for signal collection and distribution during last night's U.S. presidential debate. Jim Rizgin, vice president of OSA, relied on the prodigies for both PA management and broadcast feeds. Now let's go back to our news. The world has faced and still faces lockdown situations in different countries and areas, but events and projects have not stopped completely, as well as Direct Out's presence in the news. Christian Mueller, head of marketing, illustrates Direct Out's news in the press. Thanks, Lorenzo. Indeed, it's been a weird summer for all of us and our industry in particular, but we've kept ourselves quite busy. Let's recap what's been going on. June started out with the news of the Swiss private broadcaster Teleclub relying on a variety of direct out devices for the new production center as the central backbone for audio interfacing, routing and IP migration. Following closely the release of the white paper Audio over IP over wide area networks, the associated project Lockdown Rock has been conducted successfully in Italy. Adapting to the travel restrictions and expanding our service, we launched the Direct Out Academy in June. It provides expert knowledge for our clients and distributors in webinars, lectures and white papers. Two identical OB bands equipped with direct out gear for audio signal conversion, transmission and monitoring were delivered to Belgium's public broadcaster RTBF. July and August were filled up with updates. Prodigy series enjoyed a prodigious evolution with the addition of new features such as fast SSC and ears. And we didn't stop there. We made the series even easier to integrate in setups with devices of other manufacturers by adding Amber Plus as the first network-based third-party protocol. Finally, and this is really fresh news, our distributor of the year 2019 is Audio Sales. Congratulations and thanks for the great job you are doing representing Direct Out. Christian Müller, Direct Out News. Munich. Thank you, Christian, and thank you all for watching. This was Direct Out News, brought you by the fact that COVID-19 has cancelled every single exhibition up until at least the end of the year.